Hello, we hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. And I know I say exciting episode a lot, but this one I actually do mean that. Let's hop into our first story out there, all around mixed well. And we have never quite seen an introduction like this one. Over the course of the past 48 hours, we actually saw Moby Star's coach, a couple of their players, make their announcements to actually leave the roster. And it all seemed to come to fruition at the point of our, our rumor in our last episode of, of course, them signing mixed well. And again, I'm not really sure we've ever seen a team out there, you guys can try and name one yourselves, who has actually made this big of an introduction for signing one player. They they only brought out Mixwell in the video I'm about to show you guys. They brought out Mixwell, no one else, no Lowell, no Soaker, none of the, no Alex, none of the other roster. This is a sole introduction just for signing Mixwell, who yes, has officially actually joined the Moby Star roster. And again, we can probably assume safely it will be the rest of the Spanish roster as well in the rumor. And again, we're going to see how these guys do. And you probably would say kind of a questionable choice for the future of, of Mixwell, but it does make sense. If the guy does not want to go to North America, he doesn't want to stick around with North or a European roster, and every team in between is actually going to be practicing for the major this at least gives him a solidified roster also representing his home country of Spain and on top of that they're probably going to be paying him quite decently because Movistar as looking into it if you guys have heard about them before they are the number one telecom company in Spain and they seem to have actually finally dropped money into a CSGO roster but anyway here is the amazing introduction of Movistar Mixwell. Mixwell! <laughs> And also some news out there kind of slid under the rug. Actually, our latest update for CSGO in the bottom of the patch notes, kind of hidden away, it does actually say Panorama UI will be introduced to everyone by the end of July. Now, of course, that means we are now less than two weeks away from Panorama UI pr pretty much coming out of beta, and it will be established into the game. And after this update, guys, and once we hit August, we will now forever be not going to be going back to the CSGO we once knew. And this will be the new layout, the new dashboard. And of course, Panorama UI will now be the future of CSGO officially starting, at, at least according to these patch notes, starting in August. August. But even more bigger news out there, we do of course have VACnet doing its job and apparently Valve's anti-cheat doing very well as this actually seems to be a second wave of cheaters have been hit as of today guys and at the point of me recording this, over 60,000 VAC bans in one single day. Now if you guys are curious, from my knowledge, from what I know, at least for the past four years, I do believe this is the number one biggest VAC wave we have ever seen in the game of CSGO. Just to think about that, 60,000 plus VAC bans in one single day. Now there's, there's been many people out there tweeting about this of course flooding the steam forums about why they've been banned and maybe why they should be unbanned as well but also some pretty big people out there have been banned one of them being a youtuber out there known for cheating in the past now i'm not going to accuse him whether he was actually cheating currently or not but apparently he's actually made the excuse that there's actually a youtuber by the name of zune he actually was one of those people who actually did receive a vac ban he's already claiming right now that his his account was hijacked it wasn't him cheating although i'm pretty sure given his past accounts he actually is cheating either way though a ton of actual cheats out there have been hit those on screen for all of you. So it does seem as of right now, a ton of different cheats out there have been hit by some secret second wave out there of VACnet and Valve doing a great job there. But again, like I said in previous episodes, it's always really cool to see people get VAC banned. But on the same time, you have to realize it's also very sad that a large, a huge proportion of the people who actually play CSGO all they do is cheat. And also, we've had so many team changes in the past 24 hours. I'm going to try and cover them all right now. The first of which, and probably the biggest so far for Star Series Season 6 Qualifier, will be no surprise. It will be Tempo Storm. They lost Lowell and Chetty a while ago. That was pretty obvious. And of course, Lowell's already found his new spot on Movistar's roster, at least supposedly at the point of me recording this. It's not been confirmed. But that Tempo Storm roster going forward did trial two people, and two of them actually were RPK and Happy. And for Star Series Season 6 Qualifier, it will be those two guys back in the roster trying to qualify for, of course, Star series season six. We're going to see if they actually solidify that roster. And again, they've been playing with these guys frequently throughout the entire month. On top of that, though, some actual real changes happening to a team we have not heard much from ever since they failed to qualify for their eighth or their ninth consecutive major. That was actually flip side tactics. And very unfortunately enough, they are now down from a five man team to just two remaining members, guys. Apparently, we actually have World Edit alongside Lollipop, <laughs> Lollipop 2K. Uh, again, a, a guy that I just always have loved his name. And again, a guy who online statistically has, has really good stats so far 
far for this team. Never went to a single LAN event with Flipside Tactics, and they've already benched him alongside World Edit, and alongside that, guys, their former IGL Blade will be stepping down from the team, but will continue as their coach. So they're going to only have two remaining members on the roster, as well as Blade with their coach, and yes, it does seem for now that World Edit uh, himself, alongside Lollipop, will be put on the transfer list, and they'll be going somewhere else in the CIS scene, and the Flipside Tactics we once knew as, uh, again, never really a strong major finisher, but at least a team who could compete and actually get there so many consecutive times out of that region have now seemingly been put to rest. And as a smaller team news out there, of course we had Team Windstrike take away that former QBF roster. They will be at the major as Team Windstrike, and now QBF has actually finally replaced that entire roster. It's just sad to see, although we know Windstrike has been struggling the past two months, ever since the last major pretty much, uh, they have been really, really struggling as a team, and I'm really kind of scared as a future. I know you guys have talked about this and seen, of course, their results. Uh, I'm really kind of worried about how this team is going to perform when the major does come around in September, and given their past results, they're going to be probably one of the worst teams we have ever seen at any major event that have actually been given an invite spot due to the major rules we currently have in place. Although, I guess in some good news for QBF, they have out actually finally replaced that entire roster and that full new roster on screen. I'm sure you guys probably don't recognize any of those names. It seems to be a pretty largely unknown roster. Now, also, on top of that, we had some preludes to this coming out 24 hours ahead of time. Several of Vanguard members were actually alluding to this going to happen, and it does seem as of right now, Dimasic has been benched from that entire roster. They were actually, a lot of the teammates out there giving a lot of uh, uh, hints to that to those tweets and, and ahead of time. It does seem to be a result of them failing to actually make the major, and it will be former Gambit trial member that is actually Fitch joining that team for a Vanguard. So who knows what a Vanguard is going to do in the future. It seems that every time major comes around, at least the past two majors, we've heard about them, but besides that, been pretty quiet in the background, and at least Fitch has now found a job. Unfortunately enough, though, Dimasek has actually been replaced. Now, very lastly as well for Ross Change News out there, we do have some hints and rumors out there as to now Tim Como and what they might do. Thanks to Decay, I'll link his article down below. It does seem now that uh, apparently now Tim Como's roster, after failing to actually be signed by SK Gaming by now, it seems that SK Gaming is going to probably avoid these guys in the future as well, given the large amount of options, although the ex MBS slash left out roster after how they did the minor, probably not an option either. SK Gaming probably best to hold off right now and maybe will not be signing now Tim Como either, but now Tim Como nonetheless apparently looking to replace their current member bit with FNX on that roster. So going to be cool to see if that actually does go through, if that will help them out. You really have no idea right now. The, the internal struggles of that team seem to be pretty immense, and I'm not sure bringing in a bomb like FNX would actually help them out. But either way, guys, now Tim Como apparently going to make some supposed changes in the future. And very last in today's episode of CSK News, I will see you guys all again Sunday when, well, of course, we have our final minors wrapped up. As of right now, we still have our four teams, the two teams out of CIS, two teams out of America. Uh, we still have to wait, though, for the Asia minor concluding tomorrow, as well as the European minor, which should conclude Sunday. And by the time I release Sunday's episode, we should have all of our major teams, all of our major qualifier teams finalized. Now, first of all, I do want to say as well, at the point of me recording this, Ty Lu looked very, very dominant and probably will be Renegades joining the team, although we'll find that out at the point of you guys watching this video that might, that match already might be over, but it does seem out of the Asia minor, it will be Ty Lu already going through and most likely uh, Renegades as they do face off against Tainted Minds, and Tainted Minds did not look very strong, at least throughout the preliminary matches. So it should be Renegades going through. If not, it'd be a huge upset, but I'll get back to you guys on Sunday. We actually have all of our major qualifier teams finalized, and we can then assess what the actual challenge is going to be for many of those teams there. But hope you guys all enjoy this episode of CSK News. I will see you all in a couple days of more news. As always, my name is Jake Malakiu, and I will see you all then. Goodbye.